Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is just gonna be a short video and we're gonna work on doing the vacuum. I have got a mess, a rat's nest of wires there, as you can tell, but uh, we're gonna do the brake boost in this video and also the vacuum for the HVAC. I got a T in here because previously I ran a supercharger and that's why I have a boost vacuum gauge in there that I'm still gonna utilize because seeing your vacuum is good to know in the health of the motor. Now this is a Vortec engine, so it has a Vortec manifold. I'm not sure if you have an LS manifold, how it's gonna be different, but on the passenger side, I got a little vacuum knob right there that we're gonna twist that tab off and then we're gonna tie into that vacuum. And I just use a pair of pliers, snap that little tab off, and then grab my vacuum line, pushed her in. This is not ideal what I did here, but, um, we're in the middle of lockdown with the COVID crisis, so I can't just go out and store anymore and buy stuff I need. Got to isolate, so I have to kind of make that work for now. This, starting it up, will show me how much vacuum my engine's running. Yeah, so I'm pulling about 16 inches of vacuum, which is good. My, uh, my old four liter engine would be at zero. Yeah, just verifying too that all my vents in that work. So now it's time to work on the brake booster vacuum and using 3D printer program, I drew this up to make it work. I need something with a 90 degree angle because I purchased the one from Novak Adapters and I didn't like it. I got this piece from Novak Conversion, that's for the vacuum line. I wasn't overly impressed with it. I wanted something that was a little bit more curved. So I 3D printed this green one and this yellow one. But 3D printing always doesn't go as planned. Like here's one of the first ones I printed and where I made the design, I didn't put the, um, the cone, so to speak, wasn't connected properly, so didn't 3D print properly. And then this one here, I ran out of filament at the end. And then I tried printing with ABS, and the ABS was a complete failure. So you can see right there at the back of the motor, this is where the 90 would come in a lot better. Just where that vacuum line is at the back. to push that in while it's out and then there it's in I got my elbow in there just gonna run it from here to there now that I got my toolbox at home, I have a hose cutter, which makes things way easier than trying to use a razor blade. So right about there, cut the hose, push that onto the vacuum booster. So there we have it, the 90s installed. Now the question is, I gotta fire it up. If there's any type of vacuum leaks, if it's not gonna seal from the 3D printed 90, it'll show up in my short-term fuel trims and also my air fuel ratio gauges. It'll show me that it's sucking in more air than what the MAF sensor is saying. So it'll make my engine run a little bit on the lean side. So I'm gonna throw that cover back on and we're gonna do a little bit of testing. Start it up. 
Let her idle. While well, everything is doing its thing, I should have brakes. There, they're pumping up now because they were drained full of oil for the longest time. So my short-term fuel trims are right about where they're supposed to be, close to zero as possible. Fuel trims, I don't know if you can see them, are about roughly 14. Well, that's it, shut her down. I want to end the video there of hooking up my vacuum. Seems to be working fine. No negative effects as far as vacuum leaks that I can see. Seems to be working. Fingers crossed, the test will really be in the field once I start driving it, if that plastic will hold up to the elements, the PLA. That's to be determined yet. Hopefully, like I said, I got a backup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.